Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video is going to be a bit of a self-care video. I will say this is probably one of the things I struggle with the most as a parent. I mean, I would say prior to becoming a parent, I probably wasn't at my A game when it came to self-care and I feel like becoming a parent really sent me on a downward trajectory. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what my daily self-care routine is on a good day. Some days we do not get the self-care but on a good day, this is the routine I have. And maybe you can do your self care along with me while watching this video. So if that is something you guys are interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Let's go. So before I get into the makeup portion of this video, I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you would know that I used to be like, no, I don't wear perfume. No, I don't wear perfume. No, I don't wear perfume. Like I just wear body sprays. However, something in the last year of me has completely gone 180 on that. And I just like want to wear perfume. I feel like it's like just one of those ways that I'm able to like easily take care of myself because like if I can like smell good, like I can do that fast. Like I can spray something on myself fast and like smell good. And like that makes me feel better. I actually was sent a couple of fragrances from Dossier I wanted to show you guys. One of these set fragrances is possibly the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. This video isn't sponsored by Dossier, but they did send me these products and I thought that they would fit really well into this video. So if you're not familiar, Dossier kind of makes sense inspired by popular fragrances, but they don't have the crazy markup of other fragrances. So I'm just like, I just like pulled up their website because I want to make sure I give you guys the right information. It looks like they actually have a Black Friday sale going on right now. So I'll list all that information down below in the description box. But yeah, their whole thing is we believe everyone deserves to smell like luxury. And I'm pretty sure their perfumes and colognes, they have both, start at $29 and they do, depending on the fragrances, go up from there. But their lowest priced fragrances do start at $29 and this is what the bottle looks like. Now, I am so happy with the choices I made. This is my second time getting Dossier perfumes and wow. So, they come with these little little cards with the information. So this one is Ambery Vanilla and Ambery Vanilla is inspired by Black Opium, YSL Black Opium. So the top notes are mandarin pear, pink pepper, licorice. Why does that word look so weird? Middle notes, jasmine, orange blossom, base notes, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla coffee. Like those base notes alone are like my life. So this smells very, very good. But to me, this is more like a evening scent. However, Wait until you guys see this other one. Not that you can like smell it, but when I tell you I've never smelled something as good as Ambery Cherry. This one is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is top notes, cherry, almond, cinnamon. Middle notes, cloves, rose, jasmine, plum. Base notes, Peru, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. You guys, I wanna take a bath in this. This smells so good. I, this is, easily one of the most intoxicating scents I've ever smelled in my life. I don't know how to say that without sounding super dramatic, but I just think that what this brand does is so cool. My biggest thing with perfumes was always, I didn't want to shell out all that money for perfumes, but my goodness, I don't know how long I could talk about Ambery Cherry, but I don't even know like how to explain the scent, but it is so good. Like I don't usually have this kind of like reaction when I smell things, unless they're like, I have a very sensitive nose. Let me just put it that way. I have a very sensitive nose. So I'm very, very picky about the way things smell. And like the amber vanilla is really good. But to me, it smells more like I'm going out. I'm going out tonight. This one, this cherry one, you know, ambery cherry. This, this smells like what I would want to wear every day when I wake up in the morning, like a hundred percent. And I'm not exaggerating. This could wind up in my 2022 favorites. That's how good this is. So <laughs> now on to making myself look better. Oh, so also I'll link everything below about Dossier if you're interested. I do feel like it would be a really nice holiday gift in my opinion. Or if you are feeling like you wanna smell better and you don't wanna shell out all the money, it's also a good gift for yourself. This is about self-care today. What I'm basically about to do is if Phoebe goes down for a nap, the girl barely naps and I am like, go, go, go. This is what I've been doing to go from zero to 35, we'll say, without doing too much. Like there's no eyeshadow in this look. This is just like kind of trying to make myself feel more alive because I feel like I function better if I feel like I look good. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but if my makeup is done, I'm just feeling more confident in like living personally. This routine I feel like is really good for this time of year, like the fall transitioning into winter, but this is not something specifically I would probably wear in the summertime. It's a little bit more coverage. Anyway, let's just get started. So I've been trying to focus on moisturizing and hydrating my skin. So I've been using the Smashbox Primerizer as my base, just because, you know, I, I have noticed lately that if I'm not wary of the way I prep my skin, the foundation is not working very well, any foundation in general. Oh, speaking of this, I have a sunscreen that I got from Murad. It's their oil control sunscreen, I don't know. I've used the one in the orange tube before. This is the one in the blue tube. It pills so much under my makeup. It is, <laughs> it is a travesty that, that SPF, especially cause I'm pretty sure it's like $80. That's not the SPF I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Bliss Block Star. All right, now concealer. I'm going to use two, one under my eyes, one for spot concealing. Under my eyes today, I'm using the Haley's Beauty Concealer. I don't actually know if they make this one anymore. I feel like a lot of things about Haley's Beauty has changed over the years, and I don't know if they make this specific one anymore. This is their Revive Concealer Cream. I mean, I enjoy it, but it's getting pretty low, so it's something I'm focusing on putting some effort into. And then for spot concealing, I'm using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. It's this little sample I got. I figured it's a little bit deep for my skin tone. So I usually tend to focus that, those types of shades for spot concealing. Anyway, so skin is making its own choices. I feel like hormones, hormones are the greatest. I'm pretty sure my current skin situation is like, I'm fine, then I ovulate. I'm fine, then I get my period. I'm fine, then I ovulate. I'm fine, then I get my period. So like every other week I have a different skin type. It's really enjoyable. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this older uh, Love is the Foundation brush from It Cosmetics and just blend out the spot concealing. Now I will say that I'm going to be going rather slow going through these steps here, but on a day when I'm doing it for self-care, it's kind of like a Speedy Gonzales situation. I usually pop on a YouTube video and just speed through this. I feel like prior to having a child, <laughs> I like to switch up my routines pretty frequently with my makeup, but now I have to almost like be in like a set routine where I'm like going on autopilot so I can just get it done. Also this sponge, this is a good one. This is the Haley's Beauty sponge. Again, I'm not sure if they make these anymore. I haven't tried from Haley's Beauty in a while, so I'm not really sure what their inventory is like, but I do like the sponge. Now for foundation. This foundation is so low. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I mean, that's kind of the settled line right there. This is something I would like to ideally use up in the coming year because it is getting pretty old. I will say it's rather high coverage. So like a little goes a long way with this one. So it's not like one where I can really like plow through it necessarily. But I was thinking, would you guys like to see a video like 23 videos, 23 videos, 23 products I want to finish in 2023. And it wouldn't necessarily be like my project panning goals like just like 23 products i organically would like to finish in the coming year i'm doing so much vlogmas prep right now i love vlogmas i feel like a lot of people <laughs> find like vlogmas to be this like chore almost that like it's it's october it's december i gotta post every day like that's what people do but like that's not why i do it and like, it's so sad for me to feel, to see people like feeling like doing Vlogmas is an obligation of YouTube. And like, I don't think you should do Vlogmas if that's not what you wanna do. Like I remember back before I was ever on YouTube, like I used to watch people's Vlogmases. And that's why I started Vlogmas. Like I was doing a vlog a day. I wasn't making like pre-recorded content like this. But <laughs> once I had Phoebe, it wasn't, I wasn't really able to do like daily vlogging because like, you know, some days I don't do anything because <laughs> I'm just trapped to a child all day. Last year I started mixing it and doing like vlogging and pre-recorded videos. I tried to make them like, you know, exciting videos and fun videos. Like we're doing the candy cane challenge this year. We're putting up our tree. As I'm recording this, this is the day we're putting up our tree so we can start filming in front of the tree. I don't know, I just love Vlogmas because like it's so fun for me. And like, I just keep thinking of all these fun ideas. And I feel like sometimes with YouTube, I get in a rut where I can't think of ideas, but something about Vlogmas like inspires me <laughs> to have like really fun ideas. I don't know. I feel like if you're forcing Vlogmas content, you can like, as a viewer, like feel like this is a lot of forced content. And if you like are really into Vlogmas, I feel like people can tell. And like, 
I am so excited for Vlogmas. I love Vlogmas. I'm so sad, like for the last, okay, I think I did my first Vlogmas in 18, so 18, 20, 21. So for four years, I did daily advent calendars on my Vlogmas vlogs. And like this year is the first year. I'm not doing it just because the calendars are expensive. <laughs> so that's the one thing that's like kind of putting me down about Vlogmas, but there's a lot more to Vlogmas than advent calendars, but I'm just, I'm so excited. I have so much fun with my Vlogmas vlogs. And now that I also get to make content because I can't put out daily vlogs of me just like watching TV with my child, because wouldn't that be exciting to watch? I get to be more creative and like, we've already been like vlogging stuff for Vlogmas content. It's just, it's so exciting. Like I'm excited. Scott made the intro already. He's the one who puts together the intro for me every year. We are a bunch of Vlogmas excited people over here. I don't know how many times I can say vlogs in this video. And I didn't even say what I just did. I just used some of the MAC Glow Play Blush and So Natural and my Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. I was just getting so excited. Like I was saying, I go on autopilot sometimes when I'm doing this makeup. I'm gonna use a little Becca Under Eye Corrector. Today, like I said, we're gonna be putting up our tree. I'm very nervous. Never have had a tree with a toddler and a very mischievous toddler <laughs> to be specific. But also one of the local places around here said Santa's coming. Now, I mean, like, it's November 12th, so, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I think they have the opportunity to take pictures with Santa, so I guess that makes sense. But, like, it's kind of really close to bedtime, so we'll see how it goes. My child does not really work well <laughs> around that time of day, so we'll see what happens. This is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I have this teeny tiny little sample, and I'm just trying to work through it. I just finished another powder, little powder sample. You will see in this month's empties video. Just trying to work through the inventory we got. Oh, that's another exciting thing that's going to be coming up is my end of the year inventory. Woo! Stay tuned for that. That'll be the most dramatic uh, inventory update. Like, because I do compare like beginning of the year to end of the year and everything. What a wild ride <laughs> this year has been for my makeup collection. And when I powder, I'm honestly just powdering around my eyes and my brows, not the rest. So for brows, the combination I've kind of been enjoying is this AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil and my e.l.f. Wow Brow. The sculpting pencil is in my Project Pam, but I actually enjoy it. And I did consider using this in my affordable makeup video. However, sometimes I feel like it's hard to like find things on Chopmasse's website, but also. I get that the products per product on Chopmasse are affordable. However, I know there's a very few brick and mortar stores that exist, but other than that, like their free shipping amount is fairly high. So you have to kind of buy a lot of products to get free shipping or else pay for shipping. I don't know, it just like felt like not the right answer for my affordable basic makeup video because Shop Masse products are so hit and miss, I feel like. It just, I felt like going with the e.l.f. $3 pencil made more sense. <laughs> Now's about the time in my makeup process where my lips start to feel really dry, so I throw on some lip balm. This is the Buxom, I don't even know what it's called. Oh, Powerful Plump lip balm. It really turns my lips quite a shade of pink, but it's not permanent. It's just something I will wipe off. Now I'm going to use my powder bronzer. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I have this in the shade 01 Sunlight. So I actually, oop, ding. <laughs> I actually use this for my bronzer and as my eyeshadow on these types of days. So I'm going in with this Complex Culture, I guess it's just, a, oh, this is their bronzer brush. Look at that. And then I just come in with like a fluffy little brush here and I put it on my eyelids just because I feel like this makes me look more put together than having nothing. I'm just gonna add a little of my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder to blend it together. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner and make a quick wing and my Jewel Up Gel Eyeliner Tight Line and then I'll be right back because this part is not exciting. Okay, we're honestly getting super close to being done for blush. This is just something crazy I do. I have this old holiday palette from Clinique and it has three different cheek pop, cheek pop blushes. I take a blush brush and I literally run it through all of them and I blush my cheeks. Tell me that's not the craziest thing you've ever seen. If I am having a little extra time, I'll take this Catrice highlighting powder and put a little bit in my inner corner to make me look even more awake because not all mornings do I look awake. I have this e.l.f. Jen Atkins spray in my project pan, so it's the main one I've been using to set all the makeup in place. For mascara, I have been non-stop using this brown mascara, the 
Maybelline Sky High. I've really been enjoying brown mascara. I don't know if I've had brown mascara since I was maybe high school. I don't remember. Now for lips. I'm going to first wipe off the pink lip balm. Okay, this Parker ColourPop Lippy Stick. I use it in my affordable makeup video and I've been reaching for it every day since. I feel like anytime I film some sort of like a shop mustache type of video, it makes me like really want to use products again. And then I've been topping it off with the Buxom Plumping Gloss in Hazel. This is a limited edition scent a couple years ago, but it was like one of their fall scents. So it has like this like pumpkin-y scent to it. So it is very enjoyable. But when I'm not reaching for that one, I'm reaching for this little mini one, which is in the shade Dolly. I just really like the Buxom Lip Gloss pro products personally. We can take the ears out, brush my hair. You know, the ultimate self-care routine probably would have involved having clean hair and not three day, four day old dry shampoo hair, but not every day is a win. I'm gonna clip my hair back with a random clip I found in my house. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And there you have it. I feel like a lot more put together than the beginning of this video. I smell, like all I do is I can smell that cherry amber <laughs> smell. It smells so good. I just feel like a little bit more like a human. And some days all I wanna do is feel like a human. And I feel like maybe some of you get it. But yeah, that is it for my taking care of myself video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you guys do to help take care of yourself. I would love to start taking baths again. However, we only have one bathtub here and it's usually like Toy Central. I don't really feel like wrestling bath toys to get in the tub because that doesn't sound very relaxing in my opinion. So instead, perfume, quick makeup, out the door we go. And yeah, that's it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.